Welcome back to Erie Covenant. My little surprise I wanted to show you, it is still not done, but I'm going to show you anyway what I have so far for my new sacred space. It's a little messy, sorry guys, but I got my pentagram and my candle places, black mirror, my incense, my books. Oh yeah. <laughs> So today's topic is going to be about moon waters and I'm going to talk about sun water and what they're for. They're different energies because different moon cycles have different energies and we can harness that energy in waters that we set out under the moon. Most of you know that um, full moon water is very popular. But I'm going to talk about some other moon waters that I don't see others talking about that are a little less popular, but they can be equally as powerful to your magic. Dark moon water. This one isn't for everyone. It is for more the gray or dark, which is use for this water. It is for hexing cursing, binding, and it can be used to put an end to something. It is the darkest phase of the moon. New moon water. For new beginnings, opportunities, uh, new relationships, and it gives that extra of energy. Uh, so you can add it to like plants or waters and potions and give it like a kick of growth, kick of power. Waxing moon water. It brings growth, strength, success, and an increase to your magical abilities. Okay, I personally like this one. Um, it can make your spells more potent, especially in wealth, luck, business, but growth is what this energy will bring and what it's about for the waxing moon water. And next we have full moon water. You knew that was coming. You knew I had to put that in here. All right. Most of you know what that's for because it's one of the most used waters. So if you have spells that need a kick of power and energy, Use full moon water um, for protection, strength, um, your, for your powers or to achieve success, your goals, dreams, and make spells more effective. The super moon water. This is like full moon water 5.0, like the full moon water on steroids, okay? So this will give you a huge boost in any magical work or practice that you're doing. So super moon water, make sure you get that. Lunar eclipse water. This is for change. Um, if you need a drastic change in your life, uh, it gets you out of a bad situation. It aids you into a major transformation. So if there's something in your life negative, that needs to change this would be the water for that situation or any situation that you want to change or get out of and finally we're going to talk about sun water now we know the sun is more for masculine energy so it's no surprise that uh it's a highly it is a highly charged water though very very powerful um used in spells for your ego honor, dignity, pride, and power. And it increases confidence and enhances spell strength. It brings life to things and energies, just like the sun brings life to earth and to us. We can't live without it. So, um, Also in your moon waters, guys, I wanted to add that you can add corresponding things to your water. Crystals herbs, oils, metals, stones, and also a little witchy tip here, silver for any moon water 
will enhance that specific water. Gold will enhance your sun water. Just so you know. Alright guys, I love you so much. And uh, hit that subscribe button, comment, hit like. And uh, also go check out my TikTok, at Eerie Covenant. I'm having a lot of fun over there. You witches should too. We need good witches out there. Much love, guys.